Hi. Welcome to the North East. You need to cut to like a drone shot of the pan Pennines now. This yeah. is Durham Station. Yeah. You don't live in Durham though. Where are we going? There, there is a thing about anyone visiting from the south. It's always sunny. And now we're northerners. It's raining at the same time though. <laughs> <laughs> now we're northerners. It's not sunny all the time that we're here. Although it was yeah. at first. You arrive and now and the sun's is. come out again. Do you consider yourself a northerner? Well, do you have to I do a certain amount of weeks before you I'm can... I'm a resident. You have to pass a test. Which so, I, like an like, initiation? Yeah. I failed it a lot. How would you greet someone? I'll read pet. I'll read. Pet. Pet. Come what on. pea dish goes well with Peace a pud. ham sandwich? Fuck yeah. Know that one. If you were going to say, come here, how would you say it? I'm not going to do it because I, al I, always, I always pronounce how it like How would you say it? How are? How But he says it hard way. That's a brand of phone. How are? Yeah. How are we? How are How are Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to today's video and uh, welcome to Durham. I'm up here with Jimmy and Emily because they've moved up here. The owners of Atticus. I'm being put to work straight away. What are we doing? Photo shoot up here in the Dales. Is the, are these Dales? So I've um, got my bike with me. Uh, this was clean this morning, riding to King's Cross it. Ended up like that. So now it's not a disaster, we're taking it back out on uh, wet roads. Well, I've actually been warned I'm not allowed to, uh, not by Emily, by all of the locals in the northeast that we're not allowed to promote the northeast at all because they don't want anyone coming here. They want to keep it quiet. Do you go to strange, like, do you go to a weird cult meeting <laughs> every now and then? Uh, well, yeah, you have to. You have to. I got a Aww. present for you, man. Came all the way from Paris, these, yeah. didn't I? How long? How many chain marks are in your city? <laughs> I know, yeah. It's definitely a, a cyclist car, isn't yeah. it? Do you even come with French dust and sweat? Or well, Jimmy's sweat and French dust? Lovely. You think it's your sweat? What if I've been wearing them? <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm not even going to say what I was going to say. <laughs> Pretty cold, it's pretty windy, but I'm committed to the cause. These are the roads from the tour of the reservoir, which I think is still on. One of the main premier calendars of the season. I think they've changed the name as well, actually. Elite Road Race Series. Why don't you sell down jackets? like stints because it's so cold. Some of you might actually remember this exact road from the uh, Durham video that we did. This is one of the most beautiful parts of the countryside. Amazing. Top of that hill over there, massive descent down. Awesome. Do you ride these roads all the time now? Uh, I mean, of the two weeks that we've been here, we have not yet. Because it's basically been pissing it down constantly. It's been flooding everywhere though as well. But yes, this is where we would usually ride. It's so cold, like even in summer, like we've been up here when there's been like heat waves. Because it's so high up. You yeah. kind of don't realise, yeah, because it's so windy, you don't realise how warm it is. And then you kind of come down, and you're like, oh, I'm bright red. This is the North Pennines, the northeast side. So the northwest side goes down into Lancashire. But this road here is Tour of the Reservoir. This is where the sheep from over there walk in front of you <laughs> and <that> everybody crashes. <laughs> and the bit just behind us is like the crosswind section. Yeah. Where everyone holds like echelons out and you're on the wheel. It's like the bikes are sideways. It's horrible, <laughs> but it's great at the same time. I've got to go outside again. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll crank the heating up for a little bit. You ready? I'm glad you're ready, mate. You're on. Like, I know electric gears are good. Yeah. But they're really good. Aren't they're they? really good. <laughs> I'm not going to get them now. It's too expensive. Amazing. It's quite good fun, actually. You get to ride behind the car, get a draft. Headwind's not a problem. Get quick down the descents. It's like a, it's like being in a race convoy. Did you did you used to do that um, motor pacing training thing when you when you were a pup? A little bit, yeah. Not much. Not proper. You see it sometimes. Like, I remember being out in Essex and there was this kid who must have been like twelve. Yeah. And he's like clearly his old man was on like one of those mini scooters and like this this kid was just absolutely bashing it after him. The problem is it's illegal. A viewer is going to correct me on this. I reckon <laughs> the that you're not allowed so drafting of another vehicle is illegal. I think the driver can get in trouble. It is kind of dangerous, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's well, really dangerous. It's like, like flying drones anywhere good. You're not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I guess around around here, you can probably just do what you want. Have you seen the ones that are like this bit? Oh my God, I'll dig up some YouTube videos for you. I first saw it, I was trying to work out how it was and I realized it was like a, a micro drone. You've got people uh, like driving on like a, draft, a drift course, you know, where they do like mad bends and stuff like that. Someone is flying a drone and as part of the drone flight, not only are they going around the car, he goes through the car, it crashes in through the window and then the guy in the car, because there's a passenger, picks up and he's like, what the 
fuck? And then it flies back out again. Mate, I swear to God, it's ridiculous. So that's why I don't know if I believe you. I'll YouTube it. Oh, wait, then let's go. Apparently, um, I've got a lot more northern since I've been here. I just got... We're going to our new office. We're just going to drive around the car park. We're gonna, yeah, we're not letting you in. <laughs> You're not allowed in. So this is an upgrade. Did you ever go to the last place we were in? Yeah. This is your shed. You mean the unit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's wrong with the unit? It's Jimmy's empire. Why did you <laughs> guys was... move up north? What's going on? Um. You're full time working for Atticus now, which is... Ultimately, yeah. It was, I, I guess it's so that we could um, move Atticus on to the next steps. So I've now gone full time. Um, we're in a lovely new office space. And like you'll know as well from sort of being in your new space. That it like just having somewhere clean and nice and professional kind of like just makes it better, doesn't it? Wow. Must come and burglar for an F3. <laughs> if you wanted to rob this place, you'd come in when you'd gone like round the corner for coffee, get changed into kit, stand there all day until yeah. you then left, and then they'd be inside here and they could nick all your stuff. Although they'd probably be locked in though, right? Well, yeah. They wouldn't be able to move. Give me a tour, give me a tour. You've finally got space to put all this stuff. Well, that's that's one of the massive benefits of being here. You get a lot more for your money, obviously. Yeah. So being here allows not only me to be full-time on the business, but also just for us to have space to expand. So, so also, cool. Yeah, it's so really cool. good. You can see it as well, because obviously you've known us for the whole time we've been doing this and kind of saw where we started and you've grown. where we are now. Well, yeah, you, you've seen it. Well, actually, Jimmy's shrunk. <laughs> Look how small he is. You've just released your new winter kit. Yes, we right. have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you what it is. These are our long sleeve thermal jerseys. It's a brushed cotton lycra. The idea is it's just kind of like a thermal layer. You would wear it underneath these, which are the shield jackets, which you'll know because you wore them in Australia, right? And just now. It's pretty lightweight, I would say, for a winter jacket it's got a membrane built into it and it's also dwr treated on top which both basically both those mean that the fabric itself is super water resistant so it's good for showers and that kind of thing a storm cuff you know like when you have gloves on and there's like that a really annoying little like gap in between that makes you really cold to a zip that's new that's such a good feature they get quite it gets quite hot isn't it like you always start off freezing and then you get too hot so yeah to a zip we've got a waterproof pocket inbuilt to here so if you've got anything that you really can't get wet, it fits most phones as well this reflective fabric this is also on the tights and leg warmers but it's a stuff that um Chris had on that National 24 skin suit that we made him. Looks normal and then at night time it glows. And obviously- you Same on the black be... one. Yes, exactly, same on the black one. So what we've tried to do is, even on the jerseys as well, because I feel like people are kind of in two camps. They either want to be really, really bright or they want to be dark so that they don't get as much mud on them. You can't see it anyway. So we've just added like sort of very fine detailing that you wouldn't see, but if you've got a car headlight behind you, they're going to be able to see you. Bib tights in both men's and women's. In the women's, we also do a waist tight as well so you don't have to have the bib. These are fairly similar to last year in that they've got the sort of extra knee flap which is a good bit of uh, extra warmth. Knee flappy flappy. Yeah it goes across the ass like it always does. This is a reflective heat press. Then we have more of the flare fabric on the bottom as well. Flare, 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 flare. Lastly we've got warmers as well. So our leg warmers which you were wearing today. The best leg warmers ever made. I think they might be. It's just what Jimmy said. He's right. I mean he doesn't lie. He's not allowed. <laughs> he can't lie. We've still got the double layered um, knee flap. Yeah, Having like just a black arm warmer is best because usually if you've got a jersey on with sort of pattern you don't then want like loads of logos and stuff all over your arms. So the idea is it just kind of like blends in. And then knee warmers again very simple if you like to have warm knees. But cold shins. Some people are into that cold yeah, shins and warm knees. Cold shin shame. Cold shin shame. He's like an old blues musician isn't he? Cold shin shame. That does sound yeah. like a bit yeah okay. That's not an actual thing is it? No it might have been. He just made it up. Don't know. Oh right. I did, I, he even, might be Even real. convinced it was real. Even if he was real he'd be dead now because he had cold shins. Frostbite. <laughs> Should have had the leg warmers. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's Buy some kit guys. <laughs> So, all the hard work done, uh, we're now heading for some food, heading into Newcastle now, over the Tyne Bridge. It's uh, pretty cool around here, isn't it? It took a lot less time than it takes to get into London. When you said we're going to Newcastle, I was thinking it's going to be an hour's drive, like, in traffic. It's not. Do you, do you come here a lot? It's our chair flight. The bike shop we're going to take you to tomorrow morning, they're uh, based underneath the Tyne Bridge, so we're always just going to come in there. It's not far at all, you know. They won the Bike Biz Award for best independent bike dealer in the UK for this year. But you'll see, they're super cool, man. Oh, can I be annoying? Mm. Got the toilet before we leave. <sighs> Sorry. How it's annoying. Let's ditch her, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. See if your bike's still in the car. If someone's taken it. Maybe. Oh, let me in. No, you're not allowed in. Yeah, it's, it's just, cold. I, I can't, can't get the door it. thing. Sorry. 